2003 F 250 6.0 power stroke radiator replacement. These are the tools you're going to need. A pair of pliers, a pair of wire cutters, 8mm socket on a ratchet, 19mm and an inch and a quarter, possibly a pair of vice grips, but not necessarily. Okay, so you're going to use the pliers to get the hoses clamps off, the vice grips for the grommets that hold the uh, power hold, the power cable and the little flap, the radiator flap, and then eight millimeter for the radiator bracket, both of them, and the fan shroud, 19 millimeter and one and a sixteenth is for the radiator or the uh, transmission cooler lines on the bottom, and the vice grips you'll need for the 19 millimeter if that if the uh, line wrench starts to spread and that's it that's all you need for tools to do the uh, radiator on this truck I lied need a radiator pressure tester so you can pressure test the radiator when you're done to check for leaks forgot about that Two thousand three six zero power stroke. Uh, doing this radiator, it's leaking all around this seal right here. So I'm pulling it out. I've never done one of these before. It's my first time. So far, what I've done is disconnected both the hoses, and then there's a screw here and a screw there, and then the two that hold the the radiator bracket there. Two hold the radiator bracket there. I've got those out. Now I'm going to pull this fan shroud out. Uh, yep. If you use a pair of wire cutters right, you can pop these out pretty easy. Just don't cut it. Just like that. And there's four of them across the front. I took those out so I can get to these and do the same thing. Just be careful not to cut it. get it up under there oh that one's not even hooked up I'll fix it while I got it apart the reason for taking these off so that I could uh, take this and flip it back out the way so then I could pull the radiator a little bit more forward and pull this out can't do it with my with one hand but I pull this fan shroud out I was a little worried about getting that out of there, but it came off pretty fine. One piece didn't, I thought I had to take it apart looking at it, but the bottom of it is cut thinner than the top. So it actually came out pretty easy. Once you uh, get everything disconnected, it just lifts right out, no problem. But I did, I do think that I had to pull that cable, the battery cable, the positive cable, just so I get just that little bit more clearance to pull the radiator back. Now I'm gonna go down and disconnect the bottom, do the bottom portion, and I should have this thing out of here. Okay, so for these transmission cooler lines, it is a 19 millimeter on the outside, closest to the hose. And then a one and a sixteenth that you're going to be using to hold it. Hold it with the one and a sixteenth. Turn the 19. And there, let me make sure before I say it. They're the, both the same. The same on both sides. And then we got the clamp. And this radiator's out of there. Wow. Okay, so, uh... This is what a line wrench looks like. Line wrench is very important when you're taking off hoses or steel lines, braided lines, whatever kind of line. Uh, it's important to use a line wrench. And on this radiator, this line was on 
pretty tight to the point where it started to spread the line wrench open. On a regular wrench, it'll definitely spread. So, this was my remedy to fix that line wrench spreading. What I did is I took a pair of vice grips and put on the line wrench like that to hold it closed so I wouldn't end up strip stripping that nut that's on the on that hose. So this was my remedy for a nut that's so tight that it spreads the line wrench. I put the put the vice grips on it like that to hold it closed and it came off. So it did kind of round it off a little bit. That kind of sucked, but with the vice grips, I was able to get it. Okay, if you look right along here, you can see where this radiator was leaking at. All across here, across that, where it goes together at. That's why we're changing it. This is something that I prefer to do when I finish anything that has anything with the cooling system is to uh, pressure it up and let it sit for at least a good 20 minutes or so and make sure I don't have any leaks. That way I know it's good and I know I ain't gonna, it's not gonna be uh, a couple days later and the coolant's low and end up messing up something, you know. I prefer just to pressure test and make sure it's good when I'm done. No leaks. Okay, so I had it at an even 15 and it's been about maybe 20 minutes and that pressure's dropped. Oh wow, look at it. You can see it dropping right now. And I have a little drip. And I dried the top of the radiator. I took that fan shroud back out because I seen it a drip there. And so I took that shroud out and was looking and <clears throat> if you look right there, there's a drip getting ready to drop so see it and everything looks good except for this drip and I didn't see anything anywhere wet besides right there see that right there I'm gonna turn the light on so we can see it a little better. Uh, the light didn't seem to make it better. But all the connectors look good. But this corner right here is where I'm seeing a drip coming. Seems like it's coming from right here in this corner. Oh, look. Look at the radiator. See? A little bit of water there. So. Oh. That looks dry. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. Okay, now when you're putting this back together, make sure before you put the, the positive cable back together, before, after you put the radiator in, you put the radiator in, and then uh, hook up those bottom hoses, and the next thing you wanna do is put that shroud back in here. 
that's after the radiator goes in the shroud goes in if you do it any other way you're going to be doing it over you're going to be taking stuff apart like i almost did because i almost put the positive cable back and i remembered oh i gotta i need that space to get that shroud, the shroud back in so put that shroud back in before you put everything else back together after you get that radiator in